Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Chayla. I love my unicorn. I love my unicorn. Today I'm going to be showing you what I normally do when I get to my grandparents' house after school, after I do my homework. I didn't do my homework yet. I'm going to do it just if you're age 50 well, I already did my homework. Oops. and looking to buy life insurance on a fixed budget, Get my... remember the three I can't put my unicorn there where it always is, so. The three P's. So, what, what I usually do is eat. The three I have of life insurance this Lunchable, and this is where I pack my lunch, and, price, price, and it comes with a drink. Price, a price you can and afford, I also pack a price that can't a increase, dinnable. and a price that fits your budget. And then I also pack the birthday cake. Alex, what's my price? You can get coverage for $9.95 a month. Da, da, da. I'm 65, retired, and take medications. What's my price? Also, $9.95 a month. I just turned 80 and I'm on a fixed income. What's oh. my price? $9.95 a month also, for you, too. If you're five. age 50 to 85, call now about the it's number one most popular juice. whole life insurance plan. Available Tater through the Colonial too? Pen Program. It has an affordable rate starting at $9.95 well, a month. That's less than 35 cents a day. You cannot be turned down because of your health. No medical exam. No health questions. Your acceptance is guaranteed. And this plan has a guaranteed lifetime rate lock. So your rate can never go up for any reason. And with this plan, you can pick your payment date. So you can time your premium due you date do to work with your budget. I'm going to do that after. Again. Cents a month. Plus you because get a 30 day eating. money Let's back guarantee. Up. So call now for free information. And you'll also get this free beneficiary planner. And it's yours just for calling. So call now. Call 1-800-772-5562 for your free information and your free gift. That's 1-800-772-5562. 1-800-772-5562. 1-800-772-5562. Call now. For top quality floors at rock bottom prices, come to Floor & Decor. You're getting an incredible product for an amazing price. And that's hard to beat. Hardwoods, laminates, tile, or stone. Holy smokes, this place is huge. I'm on a budget. And I was able to go to Floor & Decor and save a lot of money. You will be blown away by this experience. The pros come here, I come here. If you love your wallet and you love your home, you have to go to Floor & Decor. Floor & Decor. You have to see it to believe it. Hurt in a wreck? Don't sign away your right to just compensation. If you've been injured in an accident, call on the Hurt Line, the Mike Slocum Law Firm, right now. Are you the victim of a scam? Go to JudgeJudy.com, like us on Facebook, and follow us on Twitter. Okay, now, she moved out in June, and you were already out for two weeks. Mm. When she left, you moved back in. Yes, sir. And where was her furniture? Still in the room she left it in. And that wasn't the room that you were staying in? No, ma'am. Did you at any time prevent her from coming to get her furniture? No, ma'am. Okay, now... In August, mm -hmm. September, or October, when he was still living there, mm -hmm. did you at any time seek a police escort to go and get your furniture? No, I tried to on a Saturday, and I could not because my brother actually has a vehicle for me to use because I don't have my license, and he would help me get it, but then he got called into work, so I could not do it that day. <sighs> Miss Wilhelm, I can't help you at all. If you think the furniture is still at Christie's house, sue her. Okay, she'll come into you... court and she'll say, I don't have it. I threw it out. Okay, and the utility bills for the apartment, that was his claim to pay them and not mine because I wasn't employed. Was he employed? Yes, he was. Okay. And how much were you paying in rent? In rent was $900. For the two of you? Yes. And who was paying the rent? He was paying the rent because I was unemployed. Our agreement Just was... Just a second. He was paying the rent, mm -hmm. $900 a month. Mm -hmm. And how much is this utility bill? There's three of them. There's for Comcast. There's how much altogether? Altogether, it's about $800. For what period of time? For a month's worth. Because he what paid, month? Yeah, because he that is my eyeshadow. He pay the rent and on top of the utility bills. Are you working now? Right now? Right, no, not right now. Right now, you're standing here. Right yes, I have it. Yes, I have a job right now. In my room. What kind of work do you do? Brown just a little bit. And who are you living with? My mother right now. Good. So that you have a room for me, right? Okay, so you have a room there, maniac, and a bed, a lot of yeah. and a sofa. Your mother has a living room. Yeah. And a kitchen table. Yeah. Good. Come on, Miss Wilhelm. I can't help you. It's over. Done. Buzz us, Step out. Judge Judy continues in a moment. And on the next Judge Judy. 
Bronze is done. Can you even tell I'm wearing it? That's how much bronzer you need. So I can count Let's my money. Do blush. He wanted to make sure that he was getting paid what he she could tell how you know they That's were acting and stuff like that. So it, like, we left her house. We went downtown to right. the nightclub. Before we could even reach the to the nightclub, Bo dropped some cigarettes or his lighter or something out the window. He told me stop, stop, stop. So I pulled over so we can get out the car to look for it. He gets impatient. That's Bo. Yes, his name is Bo. Yeah. Was it your cigarettes or the lighter? It was a cigarette. Cigarette. He dropped a cigarette out of the window and... Okay, so he asked me to pull over. That's what I did. Me, Laura, and Bo all got out the car to look for the cigarette. He stayed in the car for about 20 minutes, maybe. So he was there for a minute looking. Yeah, stupid for a cigarette. But that's what happened. He gets impatient, leaves out my car, walks to the light rail. Me and Laura and Bo were trying to figure out why did he leave? What's going on? So I'm like, friend, call him back. I can get him a ride to his bike. You know what I mean? You don't have to catch the light rail or nothing like that. He already paid me gas. So before... She could even find out where he's at. She's okay. like, let's just go back to my house, okay? And behind her scared. apartment is uh, a car. So it's a gas station right across the street. When we leave from downtown, I know I'm taking a long time. We leave from downtown, go to the liquor store, get something to roll up in so she could smoke, you know? We go to the park. I don't know. Well, I'm sorry. I'm just saying exactly what happened, okay? So she got something to roll up in. Yes. To you say she got something Excuse to roll up in. I'm thinking she got a blanket. She got a, she got a cigar roll up. That's what it's called, a cigar, okay? okay? It wasn't because she was cold. It was No, she was good, comfortable. But she got a cigar from the liquor store to roll up. That's what we use at the park. She was on the phone with Brandon. OG Bo was, excuse me, Bo was in the back seat. Laura was in a passenger seat. I'm in the driver's seat. I pulled up the car. We're in a car talking. She's on the phone with him. She's like, why did you leave? What's going on? He apparently went back to his bike and did whatever. She's doing something on her phone. He's on speaker, mind you. She has to go pee. She hands me her phone really quickly. She's like, friend, hostess, I'm finna go use the bathroom really fast. I said, okay. Me and her exchanged words. I called her um an inappropriate word, which is... I shouldn't have called her that, yet I did, and I apologize. However, he thought I was talking to him. He was on the phone. And I'm like, what are you talking about? I hung up. So five, ten minutes later, here comes Brandon. I'm finna beat your, I'm finna put my hands on you. And he walks up on me, literally. I get out the car, like before I even get out the car, I see him coming. You know, my window's down. I'm thinking he finna come to my window, do something to me. So I get out the car. I grab the bottle that he bought earlier. And I'm like, if you hit me, I'm gonna hit you with this bottle. He said, that bottle's not gonna stop me. I said, my car will. So I got in my car, started my engine. Like I'm finna pull off. Before I even get to pull off, ma'am, he goes around from the path from my driver's side. Mind you, I got out. He threatened me. I got back in the car. Started my engine. Dang it. He walked around my hood. Before I got to pull off, he bams on my window and kicks my fender as well. I have pictures of my okay. window. Okay, that's just like, that's your story. And everything. That's your story. Okay. Was she back from the bathroom? Yes, when everything happened. Shh. Stand up. Your last name is? Kirkwood. If I were to ask you the same question as to what happened that evening, would you give me the same answers as Miss Warcook did? Yes. Okay. Did you ever get to smoke whatever it was you were wrapping? No, ma'am. I was in the front seat. For mm -hmm. Sit. You can stand up. Your name is Bo. Yes. All right. That's my nickname. What are you hanging around with these young people for? Because they're my friends. They're a little young for you. Age ain't nothing but a number. Mm, yeah, I say that all the time, but it's not true. <laughs> <laughs> I say that all the time. You know, I mean, I hang out with my grandchildren. She's young enough to be a grandchild. So I hang out with my grandchildren, but if I only hung out with 20-year-olds, they would say something's wrong with me, and they might indict me. <laughs> Judge Judy continues in a moment. He told me that he put his hands on the windshield and that's how it got broken. But I'm going to correct it because I was right there. No, we're not, we're correcting it. You can't yes. correct it.
Sunday mornings, Fox 5 takes a deep dive into the top political headlines. Oh, I'll get it. I'll get it. Fox 5 News on the Hill. Thank you. I don't care if you said You're not my mother. I am your mama. I hope you can all day. I am your mama. I go to your laundry. I am your mama. But you are my mama, mom. You gotta stop listening to Jennifer Lopez. Another harsh winter is here. Better call Long Roofing now and get a new roof from $99 a month. Abdominal pain, discomfort, you may be the one in six living with IBS. Ask your doctor about non-prescription IBGuard for the daily dietary management of IBS. IBGuard, daily gut health guard, available in the digestive aisle at major retailers. Real cases, real people, Judge Judy. Taquara War Cook says Brandon Owens broke a windshield when he smacked it with his hand. Brandon is countersuing, claiming Taquana tried to run him over. Okay, if I were to ask you for a version of the events, would the version be more consistent with the plaintiff's version of the events or the defendant's version of the events? The defendant. Good. In what respect? In what respect? That's right. Wish, I'm looking okay, at myself. He called Wish Lord's trip. phone because I'm right there. So she called him out his name, called him. So he said, I'm going to come over there. So he, they was arguing and everything. So I walked over there. I didn't get too close. So they arguing back and forth, back and forth. She jumps in her car, makes a U-turn, and almost hits both of them. When she came, it was kind of close, close to his Good. legs. He put his hands on the hood like this here. To keep from getting his getting hit. That's how the windshield got busted. No, I don't know how the windshield got busted. That's if how you the put windshield got busted. The, the windshield doesn't get busted if you put your hands on the hood. Yeah, but he had to jump up there. So he jumped up on the windshield before he got to the hood? He jumped up on the hood. No, he jumped up on the he hood. used his hands. He jumped he, he used his hands on, on the, the hood. On the hood. And how the car did the windshield come, get broken? He jumped up like this here, and the car was still coming, and it hit the windshield. With what? His body. That's not what he told me. He couldn't break it with his hands. That's what he told me. He told me that she was coming at him from the side, and he put his hands on the windshield, and that's how it got broken. I'm just telling you, that's what he told yeah, me. Yeah, but, but I'm correcting it because I was right there. No, I we're not. We're scene. correcting it. You can't yes. correct it. That's what he doesn't like. Okay. Sit. Can I see a bill for the windshield, please? I have three paper estimates right now. There's one place, two good, places, good. and three places. Good, good. Two 
So the cheapest estimate you have is for $210? Yes, for the windshield itself. However, I do have a dented fender from when he claimed he jumped on my I vehicle. Did yours. Well, he and kicked it and area. slammed his Man. hands on it multiple times. And okay. I'd like to see a photograph of that. Your Honor, if it's um, possible, may I speak? This is the dented fender. Your Honor, she down. drove the car directly at me. But I don't I like didn't it walk down. over to the car food, and just jump on it and kick and hit it. She drove her car directly at me. That's what happened. I heard what you said. Or you could just... So you have an estimate for this damage? Yes, ma'am. I'd like to take a look at it. And I'll also have a police report if you want. I will as soon as I look at this. You're showing me an estimate for I like it okay. almost thirteen hundred dollars Your lawsuit is requesting $798. Explain yes. that to me. Because at first, I was I didn't think he had that much, honestly. So when I made the police report, I put 400 on a police report. Very good. Judge Judy continues in a moment. And later today... Do you have any other pictures of damage? No, but the Good. property had to be cleaned. Show me. Show me what it all like. And I'll determine whether or not it had so, to be cleaned. I'm not relying I'm on you. I'm mostly eating from YouTube. I have to look at it. I just have... Motorcycle accident? Or a big truck accident? When you're hurt in any Bye! That's right. When you need